have also air back here. This time we have a nice laptop to repair. Acer Nitro, like usual. i5 and Nvidia graphics. Problem with this one, dead. Let's see the customer email. So the customer is saying Acer Nitro 5, which has stopped uh, working and is dead. Try to unplug the battery. Please, can you have a look? Yeah, we can have a look. But I will say before we are uh, plugging the power, I will say let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. I mean, you can place your bed. Shorted capacitor, shorted MOSFET. If it's a shorted MOSFET, where is the MOSFET? We don't have RAM memory, so the RAM memory is missing. The battery it is unplugged, so uh, I will say let's get the multimeter. Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail, which is a bunch of capacitor power supplies here. Ground. Here we have like 1.4 and here we have 1 ohm. So here is ground, 0 0.9, and here 1.1 is the plus, uh, the main power rail. So the main power rail is, is shorted. What can be shorted? <laughs> Let's take out the heat sink. I mean, the resistance is very low. The resistance is very low, and that's bad. I mean, either it's a happy case of a shorted capacitor, or a shorted GPU MOSFET, or even CPU. And the heat sink, it's out. I mean, this is made from factory, so the chipset is not touching the heatsink, only the CPU. Okay, so I'll grab the power supply, I'll lower the voltage. Yeah, this is a shorted motherboard. Like 0 0.9, ground. Now let me grab the thermal camera. So it's taking 2.7 amps. And what is getting hot, the CPU is looking fine. What is that? Oh, that's the reflection from the metal. Wait one second. One second. Uh, it's a GPU MOSFET. So basically, it's this one. It's a DR MOS. <sighs> That's bad. Let's take out that DR MOS. Why is bad? Because the GPU took 19 volts in many amps. Yeah, the GPU is a chip which has like max like 1 volt, 1.2, something like that. So the GPU took 19 volts. But, you know, kind of bad. I mean, we still can uh, disable the NVIDIA GPU. And the user can still use the laptop with Intel graphics. And the DRMOS, it's out. Now let's check for short again. Zero. One second, I'm confused. So here is 0 0.4, here is 0 0.6. How oh, this was clear like a like a shorted DRMOS. We desoldered the DRMOS. How we still have short? No, it wasn't no no no, it's not I know what you're thinking, like a capacitor under the mo no 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 because I seen the the heat signature, I seen like a square on the chip. So clearly that chip is dead. But probably it's not the only fault. 0 0.5 and 0 0.4. I mean, we check together. Yeah, I cannot check with the thermal camera because it's hot. Let's cool down the board and let's uh, check one more time. Well, this is proper strange. So coming with the power supply one more time.
is taking 2.8 amps. One second. Is something under the GPU? Under the, the DRMOS? I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, there are the coils. Is something on the other side of the board? Hmm. I can't believe I was wrong. So this can be a happy case because on the other side of the board are only capacitors. I will say, uh, let's take the board out and let's have a look. Okay, so the board is out. Oh, lol, what is here? What is here? Check here, 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 here. So this is liquid damage. Hmm? So this is a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. Actually, it's a good thing. I mean, yeah, one capacitor is dead, but this is fixable, yeah? So we can fix it. I'm going to use water because clearly here is some sweet thingy. And we can clean it with water. So actually the customer, yeah, yeah, check here and here, yeah. The customer dropped some, uh, I mean, here it's weird. I can see here was like, like water damage and here is like some sweet liquid. You see those things? So it is possible to be two different kind of uh, damage here. Yeah, this is a hundred percent sweet. Yeah, you can feel it. And here is sweet again. Perfect. Let's uh, let's dry the board. We clean it perfectly clean. Yeah, we did create more the water damage, but that's okay. You know, that's fine. Perfect. Now we can dry with the uh, with the hot air. So which capacitor is dodgy? Hmm? Uh, I will come. Yeah, check here. Yeah. So the configuration of this, we have first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. Then you see this big track here. This one, big, big, big. This one. Yeah. So this is the main power rail. So we have ground and we have plus. And yeah, we have plus here. And the capacitor is that one, you can see it. Wait, huh? let's check under the microscope because it uh, looks confusing. Let me use some alcohol. Perfect, so power on, yeah, is that one, this one from here, right? 
power on yeah that one that one that one okay so the capacitor has been removed of course we're gonna replace the capacitor what do you mean it's just a capacitor we're gonna replace the capacitor in another video so plus here and it's not short anymore you can see no short nothing all good let's solder back the the gpu drmos little bit of rosin uh, plugs and the DRMOS pin number one is there good Yeah, the solder is getting melted. Perfect. So what do you think? All good. Should be working fine. Let's check one more time. With the multimeter, we have ground and we have plus, and it's not short anymore. You can see nothing. Let me quickly put the board back. Someone said easy pizza. Nah, it's not easy pizza. In order to be an easy pizza, we have to fix it without taking the board out. Yeah, that's very important. Everything is back in place. Let's plug our memory. Good. Let's plug the battery. Okay, the battery is plugged in. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. The laptop is dead. Hmm. Okay, let's get the power. Actually, you know what? I have the charge. Yeah, we need the Acer uh, blue pin. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Perfect. 19 volts. We need some current here. Three amps, let's raise the current, 4.5 amps. Plug in the charger. Hopefully it's charging. <laughs> it's taking like 20 milliamps, 150 milliamps. Yeah, that's the pre-charge current. And the current probably will go up. 180 milliamps. 190. No, it's not taken by the by the by the chipset. Can we hold the battery? Yeah, we can. Power supply plus here, and the battery is taking two point eight amps. Check there, you can see. And now, the battery should charge fine with one point three amps. Yeah, good. Now, pressing the power button, and the laptop it is coming on. Fans are spinning. It's taking like three amps. Yeah, we have to wait because we reset the BIOS. Two point eight amps. The fans are spinning. The laptop shut down. The laptop start by itself. And that's okay, that's fine. We have picture! Huh? No bootable device, obviously. It's no hard drive. But the laptop is working. Yeah, it's not even point testing the, the GPU. 
I mean, the fault was a capacitor on the other side of the board, which was caused by some liquid damage. What a job. Yeah, we'll keep the RAM memory. You know what? I'm happy I held the customer. This is a lucky customer. And, you know, gaming laptops, you know, you game, you rage, you, you know, spit your drink on the, on the keyboard. Can happen. Can happen. But like I said before, for me, I seen like water damage and actually some sweet liquid damage. So two different kinds of damage on, on the motherboard. But it's fixed. So I'm going to stop now. I will say... Uh, Thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.